Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another follow-up on that uh, 229 that arrived. As you see, I've cleaned it up a bit, as well as the tender. This actually doesn't look too bad. Now, it developed a really strange problem. I was running it, and it stopped, and the breaker uh, popped in the transformer. So I pulled it off the rail, uh, used the test lead on it, and it ran perfectly. Put it back on the rail, it popped the breaker again. And I was like, what the hell is going on with this? Then I discovered if it was held upside down, like it was when I was using the test leads, it ran perfectly. Right side up, it had an internal short somewhere. So I uh, pulled off the front truck and look what I found. The original light bulb was actually stuck up inside the shell and obviously shorting the E unit or shorting something directly to ground. Anyway, the original light bulb and I tested it and it works. This thing is 80 years old, 82 years old if this was made in 1938. Anyway, I thought that was really, really cool. So it's uh, on rail five, as you see, this is the DC rail. So it's gonna be its first test running on DC. So power is on, let's see how this goes. Wow. That is six volts. 5.99 volts. That's actually quite incredible. Can't really see it in this camera unless I move it. Anyway, right at six volts, this thing is just purring, running on DC. It's really interesting, see how dim the light is. This speed on AC, that light bulb is brightly lighted. So there's a huge difference between AC and DC running these locomotives. Let's take this a bit faster. Okay, there's six and a half volts. As you see, it runs absolutely perfectly on DC. There's no doubt about that. Incredible. That's right at six and a half volts. I couldn't take it much faster than this. It'll derail. That's probably about as fast as I can take it. That's seven volts right there. So, no problem running it on DC, that's for sure. So, as you see, I've cleaned it up a bit. Haven't uh, really got into it and scrubbed it. Haven't used any water. Just basically brushed it off and uh, put a bit of oil on it just to see what the paint actually looks like. Now, as you see, this is going to actually clean up quite well. Get all the uh, dust and grime out of the... Uh, nooks and crannies and oil this paint is gonna look quite good. The paint is in actually incredible condition. As you see, even the uh, sharp edges still have paint on them. So it hasn't had any uh, great amount of uh, play wear or run time. I cleaned up the uh, tinder a bit, touched up the paint where uh, it was down to bare metal and rust right there, as you see. And I did replace that rear truck, put a standard rear truck on it so it gives me a uh, plastic knuckle coupler. But in any case, this thing is running just splendidly. And uh, on DC, there's five volts. Actually quite amazing what DC does on these locomotives. I mean, they just run better on DC. That's all you can say, they do. There's no doubt about it. All, out of all the testing I've done, all of the locomotives run better on DC, period. Anyway, the uh, Lionel 229 with its original tender, eBay, 15 bucks up and running, absolutely splendidly. So a bit of cleanup, 
It's going to be my new toy for the next couple of days. Anyway, I've got another uh, Lionel coming. A, uh, uh, I think it's an 8902. It's a DC locomotive. I talked about that the other day. That should be here in the next few days. Anyway, I'll do an unboxing on that one as well. But I just want to do a, a quick follow-up on this 229. Had a blast running this thing today, bringing this old dead locomotive back to life. And as you see, it actually doesn't look bad at all. Once you get all the dirt off of it, it's actually going to be quite respectable looking, including the tender. And the tender was munched when it got here. I mean, it was smashed. As you see, you would never know that now. So I just want to do a quick video. As long as you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.